Hello everyone and welcome back to Crossblade Xenoblade Chronicles X. Today, well, we're going to start off by actually upgrading some of the AM manufacturers. And by some, I mean the Ophin Technologies. Because, well, I have the Meridium now and we might as well just kind of jack this up to... Anything. We want to get up to like level 3, so let's put a thousand in, get it to level 2. And hopefully it tells us... Okay, go forth and evade and conquer. I like the sound of you guys. These are the bug guys, right? That sounds about right. And you need 18,000? Good God, you're expensive. Good thing we have that much. Uh, heavyware series. By pairing defense with evasion, we've engineered invincibility. You look like... a character from a movie I saw when I was a little kid. Had like the same exact helmet of the, the female one in the back. I do not know the name of it. 90,000! No pawn were expensive. All right, well, we'll focus on getting no pawn up to the higher levels. And oof, I guess we'll worry about uh, the bug armor later. Uh, for now, I think I want to go and do Elma's second heart the heart. I think she's at three hearts. She might be close to three hearts. I did some uh, kill quests off screen. Yeah, she's like, she'll probably be three hearts after this. But yeah, I did some kill quests off screen because I want to get these guys up to two hearts. And they're close, they're just not quite there yet. I'm hoping after the missions I do today, or mission probably, uh, they'll be closer. Or maybe they'll even get closer when we do Elma's heart to heart. But anyways, I need to go switch out my pets. Alright, so we are at the water purification plant. This was actually, I got this from a golden bauble somewhere along the way. So this was marked on my map. Oh, Elma. Hmm, what's, what am I doing? I'm playing with this cat. I figured this that was kind of obvious. Do I not seem like the animal loving type to you? Believe it or not, I had a pet Siamese on Earth. On my days off, I would, she would crawl up onto my lap and let me stroke her chin while I enjoyed a good book. Petting cats always remind me of life on Earth. What about you? Does interacting with pets remind you of anything? Uh, say it makes you suspect you had a pet on Earth. Confess it doesn't remind you of it now. Uh, yeah. Hero, you're an extension of me, so you probably had a farm. <laughs> Your face lights up when you talk about pets. Uh, such a powerful reaction to a lost memory. I wonder if that means you it'll actually it's actually returning memory. Hmm. Do you think pets could serve as a trigger to recovering your other lost memories? Mind if I ask you another question? Just a matter of personal curiosity. What animal do you think would that makes a best pet? Uh What? I mean, I'm gonna say it, cause it's awkward. I was I was gonna say there's probably only gonna be like two options here, get like cats or dogs, and then I would have probably preferred both or all animals, cause I'm a huge animal person. I have cats and I have dogs. I used to have a frog, I've had birds, I've had turtles, I've had lizards. I'm kind of an animal guy. I'm also apparently a weird, creepy pervert, so say you're an Elma person. I don't think she liked that. That's interesting. You know I'm not a pet, right? So why on earth would you even say that? I kind of figured she wouldn't like it. She doesn't have Lynn's sense of humor. Perhaps this is another symptom of the damage <laughs> Kim suffered in the crash. I'll make an appointment at the uh, Mimi's Home Maintenance Center and request that they perform a disassembly. Oh, geez, so they can analyze, <laughs> analyze your components. Oh, don't worry. It's a routine procedure to, to for severe mental damage. I'll personally make sure they do a thorough job of cleaning out your skull. Well, I mean, it was kind of worth it. They're going to lobotomize us, Hero, but it was kind of worth it. Uh, did you... <laughs> it was probably not worth asking, but did you get three hearts out of that, Elma? And can I go do your other one? Is that a yes or a no? I don't think it is. I'll check, but I don't think it is. And then I think maybe we'll... Actually, let's grab this quest over here, and we'll do this one. Hello, Rosie. How's it going? Just... It's not fair. I've produced way more results than that. That little... Ah, oh, this is discrimination. Hey, you. I don't know who you are, but you're going to, to sit there and listen to me carp about my problems. All right. Right then, deep breath. And out. Whew. Okay, here we go. So my research team has been working on a water purifier, a purification plant and facility in Bano, outside the city, and we finally finished it. I mean, I helped a lot with it. 
I know, right? Party time, woo. But party time canceled, boo. Because then everyone had to move out to the site. And they didn't invite me. And then, then, then I hear this other girl on team, Ajoa. Ajoa? Ah, probably. She just got promoted. How does that make sense? It's discrimination. I would totally win if I sued them, right? Help a, lower, a lawyer made it onto the white whale. Uh, agree that with Rosie that it sounds unfair. Ask if Rosie is, ask Rosie if she personally had anything to do with it. Her personality, mm, right? Not personally. Um, I'm gonna say she's a little bit high strung. Excuse me. I have a wonderful personality, and I will crush you if you say otherwise. No, I I know what it's. This is all about. Ajora is just a tiny bit cuter than me, so they took her instead. It's gross. I'm sure Ajora is hard work, as hard at work now. Frolicking with Ian and the others on their happy little lakeside vacation. Probably tanning and swimming and uh, eating chips. They haven't even bothered with their daily check-in for days. That's how good of a time they're having. They're dead. <laughs> if they haven't checked in for days, they're dead. It's abuse of office and I won't stand for it. So listen, I need to go there and catch them slagging. Oh, and feel free to be extra mean to Jorah if you want. We've worked with her. Isn't, is she the... I love that we're getting upgraded snorkel and swim bottoms, but she was she the person we did the the purification plant before? Because we I definitely know that name. Seriously, just go over there and let them have it. Line them up and then run them down. And then run down the line, slapping their faces with your open hand, and tell them it's from Rosie. I'm trusting you to head over to that uh, Bino water purification plant and turn their little lakeside paradise into a living hell. I mean, okay. It's kind of rough, but okay. Let's go see if I can do that three hearts, uh, heart to heart with Elma. All right, sadly we couldn't do the three hearts from the looks of it. God, you always scare the crap out of me. What? Oh, that's probably not a good sign. They're like vultures. Yeah, Elma wasn't there, so I. Uh, oh, there's eggs. Oh, we're gonna go straight up aliens on this freaking place. Help, please, somebody help me. Open the door, I'm begging you, please let me out. Are you contaminated? Because I ain't gonna let you out if you are. Uh, investigate the door of the Baino water purification plant. I got like, the music changed there for a minute? Help me, someone open this door. Uh, force the door open. Ask Adora what's going on. choices um okay let's pretend that we don't know what these eggs are and force the door open she's in trouble is someone there oh thank you we're trying to get the door open aren't you uh well you can stop it won't open without a key card then why are you yelling <laughs> what the fuck open the door oh you're trying to open the door sorry about that there's actually you need a key card the rest of the research team should be somewhere in the facility can you please get a key card from one of them and be careful, there are monsters running around in there. If you find one, don't hesitate to kill it. What? what? Hello! What the fuck? Did they just shoot at that bird up there? That is... You are... I like you! You look awesome! Like, straight up, you look pretty badass. You're, you're getting your ass kicked. Uh, we are like five levels higher than you. Oh, I missed the purple. Sorry about that, whoever called that out. Um, but yeah, we're, we're beating the hell out of Oh, they called it again. Get it. Get the love fog. The love. Guess we gotta wait until I won the combo, huh? I like your shield HP. Yeah, I know I bought it for you, but I still like it. But so he's dead, or it's dead, or whatever this raging Cantor is. And it had a key card. These are the these are the NPC, the facility members, aren't they? Hey, I leveled up. I mean, eventually Hero will stop gaining levels because he's gonna level everyone, right? Because I really need to gain affinity. Hi, Jor. Are you gonna turn into a massive monster like that thing out there? Because if you are, I should probably kill you before you become a threat. 
Oh, thank you! I can finally get out. It sounded like that thing was dying. Were you the one who killed it? Uh, ask Adora why she was trapped in here. Ask Adora whether she knows about the cocoon surrounding the plant. Uh, interrogate. Eek! You're saying it like that. Uh, you're saying it's like that outside as well. But that's crazy. None of that was here before. And why are you here? Rosie's really pissed off. What? Rosie asked you to come. And I owe her for saving me, I guess. I mean, that's. She did want me to slap you, so come here. Did you hear that? It's a warning that something is wrong with the plant. You need the alarm to tell you that, huh? I'm sorry, but could you could I ask you to go check it out? I'm going to look through the surveillance footage and try to get an idea what happened. Uh, was there any face huggers involved? Maybe chest brusters? Go to the reservoir. I'm gonna talk to her again because I could. Hello. Now what? Uh, this alarm means something's wrong with the plant. Is it those creatures again? Okay. Just checking. You never know. You could have been like, oh, before you go, please have this special gun that kills everything in one shot. You never know. It's always a potential. Everyone looks so plain without armor on. Maybe I'll go through the gear and give them... <laughs> that's a big egg. Give them some better armor. I mean, Irina looks fine. And I guess HB kind of looks full. Oh, this might not go well. I might need a skull. There's three of them. We... I wouldn't say struggled. We had a bit of a rough go with one of them. I mean, oh, hi, Skull. How's it going? You know what? Are you a mind reader? Because apparently you are. Good timing for teleporting to me, by the way. I uh, totally don't know why you did, to be honest. Uh, they seem to be stuck, so I'm happy about that. Um, well, yeah, why did my Skull show up? You know what? You shouldn't look at look at gift horse in the house, Kronos. The house? Gift horse in the house. I guess gift horse in the mouth. That's the same, Kronos. English is your first language. I know, it's hard to tell. How is this thing still alive? I shielded it to death. Irina, you're probably gonna die, huh? Alright, who's next? I mean, we're the only ones alive and they're not really doing much to me. So that's good. Everyone said this skull sucked, and I was all hyped and how strong it is. And it still seems really strong compared to the enemies I'm fighting. Or, okay, at the very least, it seems strong compared to the party I have and the enemies I'm fighting. Which is sad on multiple levels, seeing how everyone said this thing sucks. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do other than be better at the game? I mean, we're doing all right. Maybe it's I have different equipment on. That's why it's working out better than uh, it did for some people. So I hear the level 30 ones are to die for. Got it. I mean, it doesn't really do anything at this point. I'm about to go into overdrive, too. Ooh, I did not bring up those goddamn notes again. Then again, to be honest, I don't really have a wide variety of uh, colors on my bar. Was so that me shooting you? Because it looked like it came from the other side of the freaking. Okay, I got that. Wow. Should probably pay more attention to what I'm doing than not what I'm saying. Uh, Hero is level six with his uh, ability, so he only got. Okay, he's level seven now. He only has three more uh, levels until we can switch to a different class. And I'm not sure if I want to go the assault rifle route right now, just so I can use that ramjet to do overdrives more easily. No! Ah, uh, who didn't see this coming, by the way? We left her alone. What happens when you leave someone alone, especially a female scientist? I guess we can get out of this now. Yeah, they, they usually die. Let's, uh... One second, let's wait. Till we're fully healed. And then we'll go back. And... Okay, so we're gonna go out? Is my skull gonna tell... Why would you go out?! Roar, I'm a thing. No, stay back. Please, Ian, help me. Help me. 
is that Ian? Do I get a choice here? I'm not just gonna watch her get eaten like the last one? Wow. We're moving up in the saving people department. Roar. If it's just one, I can fight it by myself, probably. But thankfully my skull decided to show up here anyways. Oh, who can hit? Arena? You ruined my combo. I mean, I'm gonna save your arena, and I like you. But I was just kind of hoping to get that freaking combo off. I should probably do this, and then everyone concentrate. I mean, I know there's only one target, but you never know. You could be firing at the wall for all, all I know. God. No, no. Combo damage first, affinity second. Damn it, I missed the affinity. I regret my decisions. Yeah, let's wait for this to trigger. A3, you should probably yeah, know, do something about your health. I guess I can help with that. Okay, it's dead. Woo, go me. Ian's ID card. I saw that. That was Ian. Kind of expected these to actually be the scientists. I won't lie. That's not shocking. Especially after we got the key card from one of them. All right, ladies, so what did you do? Huff, gasp, that... That was one of the things that attacked us. No, that was Ian. Those are co those cocoons. It hatched out of one of them. I can't take it anymore. I can't. Ian, where are you? Where'd everyone go? I want to go back to a new LA. Show. <laughs> this this is one of their ID cards. So those things ate everyone. Oh god, oh god. I mean, maybe? I, don't know. I thought they all turned into them. I just know. I can't freak out now. We need to get at uh, we need to get at the camera footage. But he had the only key card with the viewing access for the security. Here you go! Wait, that... You have Ian's card? Yes, I just showed it to you. Did it come from that monster too? You can get... Uh, we can get the camera data with this. Sorry, could you maybe look at it instead? I don't feel so well. I'm just going to go take a quick shower. Is that okay? No, you stay around. I don't... I don't want you to leave. Really? I mean, I just feel so sweaty and gross and wrong. But if you say so, I trust your judgment. Okay. Let's take a look. Here. Stick Ian's card into the terminal there. Why is my skin so dry? It's like it's peeling off. I really need a shower. Okay. No. You are totally going to transform... I mean, it sounds like you're going to transform either way. Maybe water's the trigger, though. <gasps> Am I going to save you? Or did I kill you? Activating main system. Please insert ID card. Authenticating. Identity verified. Access privilege granted. The following information is available. Uh, data level 1. Now let's do the camera security. That's what we're looking for. Data corrupted. Cause unknown. Extracting recoverable data. Please wait. Extraction of audio data complete. Replaying audio data now. At least, at least let Ajora survive this. Good. She's not showing any symptoms yet. Well, really? Because she just disappeared from my screen. I wish that thing would have eaten us and been done with. Hack. Ugh. Wait. The cameras. It's the security system running. I have to leave a record of this. My name is Ian Parker. The rest of my team here at the Water Purification Plant is dead, save for Ajora. There's some kind of primordial creature here. When it attacks, it lays eggs inside the victim. Oh shit, we need to go to a doctor. <laughs> a cough. It's like a, the parasitic wa uh, wa wasp back on Earth that laid eggs inside young, uh, they their young inside caterpillars. When the eggs hatch, they take out the humans, take over the host's body and maneuver it towards a favorable location. Cough, hook, pant. Water. Water! Give me water, please! Gah. Hello? Is anyone there? Ian? Ian? Open the door, please! I'm stuck in here! Open the door, Ian! Hey, you're still here! You're alive! But for how long? So the reason I crave water is because of whatever is planted inside me. 
Is that what happened to the others? Were those things... Was that them? Uh, express concern for Ajora's condition. Stay wary and watch your finds. Worry. You're not afraid of me? You're very kind. Right, as long as I avoid water, the docks in New LA can hopefully remove the egg, the thing's eggs before they hatch. I'm going back now. Please let Ro uh, Rosie know that I'm okay. Question. Right, I think they did answer that. That if we die, we die in the life hole pods. Okay, I was just about to say... Are Ian and the others going to be okay in the lifehold pods? But I think they already covered their bases with that when they said, when we first found out, we were, uh, whatchamacallit, we were not human. Mims. Mimi sums, or whatever the hell they're called. Why don't they just call them, like, robot bodies? <laughs> That's original, you're right. All right. Where are you, Rosie? There you go. Oh, it's you. Well, how'd it go? Did you slap that the lazy out of him? Did a jork cry? Yeah, but not for the reason you want. I want details and pictures. What? What? Everyone but a jor was... They're dead? And she had an egg inside her body? And it's being surgically removed as we speak? No. No, that's simply not possible. Uh... Yes. Shut up! They were my friends! Of course I'm not happy! I'm gonna check on Jor. Here, this is for saving her. Thank you. I don't know how many of you like in my party that liked the fact that I just mocked her. But I think she deserved it. Hi, Rosie. Uh... You don't want to talk about it, huh? Alright, fine. Be that way. Well... You wanna go do another heart to heart? I don't know on who though. Did you guys gain two hearts yet? Because if you did, I totally want to remove you guys from my party. No offense, I just need to really work on everyone else. You have you're close. One more mission for you. Um HB. You're not you're not close. Fog? God damn it, Fog. Alright, well. Fog, have we done your heart to heart? I feel like that's a good way to gain affinity. Maybe we'll, I'm, we'll, we'll check if we have done Fog's heart to heart. Is that you down there, Fog? Oh yeah, that's clearly you. Man, you're hard to find! This is not easy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hello, hero. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. what are you doing? Dot dot. Dots? Stop dotting me! So I'm thinking about something. This looks like water, but it's actually a gel designed to cushion impacts. I've heard that when it ha hardens, it becomes like those giant crystals that surround the outer war uh, walls of New LA. I'm not sure I believe that. There's a rumor that you could inject a co congelating agent, a congealing agent, into it, and that would cause it to instantly harden. I was just internally debating whether or not I should test that theory out. Uh, say, so would you like to also know? Try it. I mean, what if you just took like a small vial of it? Eh, courage. I thought the matter might intrigue you. Please go ahead and test it out for yourself. I'm going to watch from far away. Dot dot. Dots. 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 You're not going to do it, are you, figures? If you had, I'm sure Director General Caution, uh, Cushion. Kursan, whatever, Secretary Nagy and Commander Vanheim, Van Ham would have come down on you like a ton of bricks. Risking one's life and career to satisfy an ideal curiosity would not be the wisest choice. Scoop some up in a cup and put it in there. So I guess we'll resist the temptation to try for now. Let's get to the bottom of this on some other day and at some other place. The Old Fishing Pole. That's a weird name. How you doing on, uh, Affinity now? Man. Fog, I thought we were better friends than that. Hope, you're close. Should probably... Ooh, Hope! Have I done your heart-to-heart -heart yet? Yeah, you guys are totally right. We totally did Hope's heart-to-heart -heart like one episode ago. Or two episodes ago. I completely forgot. Um... Yeah, we'll do this one. We've had the... The nope I'm on for a little while now. So next one should be a level up. It's gonna probably upgrade, probably? 
I don't know. The Nopalm one's kind of weird. It hasn't actually told me, like, what we've unlocked with it. I figure let's go grab this quest and we'll nice. leave off there. And we'll go do this quest next time. Where? Where? Where, where are you? I see. Are you above? Oh, good thing there's stairs over here. I see. Oh, there you are. Hey, what's your name? Corwin. You look like the guy from Spider-Man. Hmm, what's that? Another hopeful recruit? Nope. You get the guts to hack it on this team, recruit? Pathfinder's all got a death wish, you know. But we're the ones leading the charge. Assure him that you have guts. Explain to him that you didn't come to join up. Correct. No? Huh. Must be the outfit that threw me. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> we are women wearing similar outfit. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. You're a hero, right? From Elmo's team? Uh, nod. Aha, that thought so. I've heard all the stories. A bunch of blades in my line have been talking about this crazy new rook who keeps racking up the glory. Stop calling me rook. I've been wanting, uh, wanting to meet you for a while now. Name's Corwin. I lead the team here. Uh, great. Hey, look who's got manners. I like it. You and me are going to get along just fine. I mean, I hope so. Uh, long, as long as we're not competing for a gig, that is, happens in our line from time to time. I suppose you could say it's co uh, colleagues first, friends second, got it? Sure. Hmm. Yo, boss, who's the noob? Norman Bates, huh? I'm gonna kill you. I take it you heard the name Hero before? Sure, that's Elmo's new... Wait, this is Hero? Sure is, and I'm hoping he might actually give you a couple of tips on how to get things done. Oh, come on, boss. Besides, how do we know it ain't all just talk? You actually seen him in action yet? I mean, if, if El it's Elmo we're talking about here. Any with half a brain cell could ride her coattails to glory. Ah, no offense, noob. I will rip you limb from limb. Challenge. Huh. We heard you were feisty. Looks like that much is true, at least. Let's say a little test to see just how tough you really are, noob. I just took a mission on, uh, to find a... Incision uh, font in Noculum. What do you say you and me have a race to see who finds it first? Blade against blade. As long as it's not time, that's fine. Bates is really fired up with this, although, frankly, I'm curious myself to see what you're really made of. Plus, a friendly rivalry might just be what he needs. And you never know, you might get something good out of it, too. Are you going to give me a reward? You're not going to give me anything good. I mean, money's good, I guess. Perfect! I'm heading out now. Have fun eating my dust. Irina, shoot him! You may think you're hot stuff now, but I've been a blade longer than you, and I ain't losing to some rookie. Time to me to, uh, time for you to learn Elmer's team ain't the only powerhouse around here. Irina, shoot him. HB, shoot him. Ha! Can't say I saw that coming, but thanks for the lighting the fire under the kid's ass. These little contests are can be fun. All part of the helping out your fellow blade, right? Uh, tell Corrin that you could do with a fresh challenge? Sure. Huh, I figured you'd get it. You're practically a you practically ooze experience. I'm sure you didn't get this far without a bit of help and friendly competition, right? I'm no different. Half the time, the, the thought that gets me out of the bed and into the field is I'm not letting those other guys hog all the glory. Anyways, it's time to fire up that frontier spirit and get out there, strip off the veil of mystery, and start oogling Mira all in all her glory. Okay. Well, I think with that, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, one hit on my video section. Check out some of my other content and see if it's you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you all. Have a great day.